Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 244. And today is our lesson number 144. Let's turn to page 244, problem number 7, 7C. 7C. We're given two equations, 15x minus 18 minus 2y, we are told is equal to minus 3x plus y and the second equation that we're given, I'm going to put that down here we're told 10x plus 7y plus 20 equals 4x plus 2. Let's make sure I did not make a boo-boo 10x plus 7y plus 20 equals 4x plus 2 and the first one was 15x minus 18 minus 2y equals negative 3x and positive y. That's right. Now the very first thing we need to do here before we can solve them, solve them as simultaneous equation before we can solve them as simultaneous equation is to bring this thing in a little bit more civilized form. This is all over the place. We have to combine all the x's, we have to combine all the y's, we have to bring the constant on the other side. In other words, break this equation into what is known as a standard form. So let's do that, shall we? We're going to bring all the unknowns on the left hand side and the known quantity, the constant, the numerical values on the right hand side. Why the numerical values on the right hand side and the unknown on the left hand side? Why do you ask? There's no reason for it. There is no good reason for it. It's just a convention. It's just a tradition. That's how it's always been done. There, other than that, there is, no there is no mathematical reason behind it. Do you understand? So let's do that. I'm going to, I want to bring this negative 3x to this side, so let's add 3x to both sides. Add 3x to this side and add 3x to this side. I want to bring the y to the other side, so let's subtract y from both sides. I want to bring the 18 to this side, so let's add 18 to both sides. Don't get confused. Perhaps I should not have written my equal signs so close to each other. Negative 3x and positive 3y. Remember it. Negative 3x and positive 3y. Okay. Negative 3x and positive 3. Negative 3x and a... I forgot it, didn't I? Negative 3x and positive y. So, we have positive 3x and negative y. And then we add 18 to both sides. Now this equation comes in the way. Bloody hell. Well, before it was too close to each other, you could not see the break break off here. The, this is the break off. There is no equal sign obviously here. We just, uh, these are the adjustments. So let's do it then. I'm going to pick out my red marker so we can start eliminating things. I see, I see a negative negative 18 and a positive 18, so we can cross that out. 15x and 3x is going to give us 18x. A negative 2y and negative y is going to give us negative 3y. I see a negative 3x and a positive 3x. We can cancel that out. I see a positive y and a negative y. We can cancel that out. And here we're left with 18. What do we do next? What do we do next? I see, I see 18 here. I see 18 which is a multiple of 3. I see 3y which is a multiple of 3. And this is 18. This is a multiple of 3. Let's divide, let's divide this entire equation by 3. Let's divide both sides of the equations by 3. So here we have, let's put, them, let's put them closer to each other so it looks nice. So here we have 18x minus 3y equals 18. Let's divide this side by 3 and let's divide that side by 3. So this becomes 18x over 3 minus 3 over 3y equals 18 over 3 which is 6. This 3 is going to cancel out and this 18 is going to become 6. So we end up with 6x minus y equals 6. Let's call it, let's call, let's call it equation number 3. Now let's work on the equation number 2 here. 
the second equation that they give us, let's work on that here, and let's bring that into a little bit more civilized form. The second equation was 10x plus 7y plus 20 equals 4x plus 2. Let's see what we can do. We need to bring the x to this side, so let's subtract 4x from both sides. We need to bring 20 on the other side, let's subtract 20 from both sides. And that's all we have to do here. That's all we have to do. So here we have positive 10y and a negative 4, positive 10x and a negative 4x, we get positive, positive 6x. The 7y just comes down, 7y. Here we have a positive 20 and a negative 20. It's going to cancel out, and on the other side, we get it equals, here we have a positive, positive 4x and a negative 4x, it cancels out. Of course, that was the whole point of, of, of subtracting 4x from both sides. So here we have positive 2 and a negative 20, positive 2 and a negative 20 is going to give us negative 18. So I think we got kind of lucky here. We got lucky because they have the same coefficient. So let's put equation number 3 underneath equation number 4. This is equation number 4. Let's just put equation number 3 underneath it. 6x, 6x minus 5 equals 6. Which of course is a positive 6. This is a positive 6. And we're just going to subtract, we're just going to subtract equation 3 from equation 4. Or if you can if you like, you can do it on the on the top instead of doing it in a hurry. Let's do it properly. We don't need any of the top part here. I'm going to erase it. We don't need any of this either. Now, let's subtract equation 3 from equation 4. Right there. Equation 4 is 6x plus 7y equals negative 18. Equation 3 is 6x minus y equals positive 6. This is a positive 6. Now when you're subtracting one equation from the other, which is why I wanted to do it separately and nicely so that you can see it, we're subtracting, to, we're subtracting equation number 3 from equation number 4, which is what it says. Subtract equation 3 from equation 4. When you're subtracting one equation from the other, the very first thing that you want to do before you forget it is to convert, change the sign of each of the coefficients. That's what subtracting means. So this positive 6, this positive 6, it's going to become negative 6. This negative y is going to become positive y. This positive 6 is going to become negative 6. This is how we keep track of it. So a negative 6x six, six and a positive 6x, this is a positive 6x, this is a negative 6x. It was positive, it became negative because we are subtracting it. It cancels each other out, which was the whole point. Which was the whole bloody point. A positive, a positive 7y and a positive y, it gives us 8y equals a negative 18 and a negative 6 is going to give us negative 24. We are almost there. We are almost there. We, do, we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Let's divide both sides by 8. This 8 drops out. And y equals negative 24 divided by 8. Let's bring this equal sign down a little bit. Negative 24 divided by 8 is going to give us negative 3. Voila. We finally arrived here. y equals negative 3. Now to find the x, we simply have to plug in the value of y in one of the equations here and solve for x. So let's do that. Which one, which one do you want to do? Let's work with the equation number 3. Equation number 3 tells us 6x minus y equals 6. 6x minus y equals 6. Let's put y equal to negative 3 in that. 6x minus y, y is negative 3, equals 6, which tells us 6x plus 3 equals 6. Subtract 3 from both sides, this is positive 6. 3 is going to cancel out, and 6x equals 
3, which means divide by 6 here, which means x equals, aha, voila, that's it. Again, bring the equal sign down a little bit before my algebra teacher screams at me. That's it. That's the solution. That's the solution. y equals negative 3 and x equals half. The only thing that is left at this point is for us to verify these solutions, to make sure these solutions are correct. Should we do that quickly? Let's, let's verify them very quickly. I need the room again, so we have to erase things again. Why don't we start with this guy here? Let's verify that. Let's verify that these values work for this equation first, equation number three. We don't have to put the we don't have to put the values of x and y in our original equation in the form that is given to us, because the equation three actually is derived from the equation that they give us. This is equation three is the exact same equation as the equation that, that, that they give us. It's just incognito, it's in disguise, but it's the same equation. So verifying it in here is same as verifying the original form of the equation that they give us. So let's do that. y equals negative 3, x equals half. 6 times half minus y, which is negative 3. Half of 6 is 3, and 3, negative 3, and negative 3 is positive 3, so 3 plus 3 does indeed equal 6. So it works. That's what it is. It only takes a second. Let's verify equation number 4, shall we? Equation number 4 is right here. 6x, 6x plus 7y equals negative 18. Let's verify that one. What was y? y was negative 3. And this is a 6x. y was negative 3. Let's put them in here. So 6 times half plus, plus a half, plus 7 times y, which is negative 3, 6 times half is just 3. If you have 6 halves, that's the 3, because 2 halves make a 1, 4 halves will make 2, and 6 halves will make 3. And this is negative 21, 7 times negative 3 is negative 21, so negative 21 and a positive 3, negative 21 and positive 3, do in fact add up to negative 18, which is what we're told. So they work. That's it. That's the right solution. That was the right solution to the equation. Or rather, to the equations. There are two of them. Hence the simultaneous equations. Why are they called simultaneous equations? They're called simultaneous equations because whatever values of x and y that you're going to claim, here we are claiming that x equals half and we're claiming that y equals negative 3. Whatever values that we claim for x and y must satisfy this equation and that equation at the same time as we just did, as we, as we just showed. These two, these values of the variables satisfy this equation and that equation at the same time. They satisfy both equations simultaneously, which is why they're called simultaneous equations. We're done for today. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.